Saturday afternoon in Baltimore, Johns Hopkins football defeated Washington and Jefferson 42 to 10 in the first round of the NCAA playoffs. The Jays racked up 595 yards of total offense on the day, running 94 plays from scrimmage on the offensive side. Quarterback Robbie Mady threw for over 300 yards, including a touchdown pass to his classmate Daniel Wadica. Oh, um, there was a, a little screen out to the right. Uh, Robbie did a great job getting started. Um, a wide receiver did a great job blocking on the edge, and a couple of linemen got some key blocks there. Um, yeah, it was a it was a nice play. It worked out well. The Jays' defense was outstanding today, causing three turnovers and keeping the Presidents out of the end zone until the fourth quarter. Keith Corliss filled in at linebacker and led the way with nine tackles and a sack. Head coach Jim Margraff was impressed with the freshman's performance, but says he expects that type of effort out of everyone on his defense. I think all our players, it's next man up, and uh, he's a terrific player. We recruit guys here to play. So whether it's a freshman, sophomore, junior, or a senior making his first start, uh, we expect those guys to come through, and, and Keith's been a terrific player to this point, and he's got a great future ahead of him. The victory was the first ever home win for Hopkins in an NCAA playoff game. Senior running back and captain Jonathan Rigaud rushed for 155 yards and a touchdown. He said the victory was especially sweet after last year's first round defeat. I know last year, me, me especially, it left a bitter taste. And, uh, you know, I didn't, I didn't want this to happen again. And, you know, we, we rallied as a group uh, between the seniors, juniors, and sophomores, and freshmen, and uh, I think we all took practice serious and, you know, we played hard and, uh, you know, we, we knew we needed to come to a fast start and we did that and so uh, we're happy from the results. The Jays' third trip to the playoffs in four years will continue next week as they travel to Ohio to take on the number one team in the nation, Mount Union.